In today's video we filled the frame with the sand and the epoxy and we also fixed the bolt that I snapped in the process. As you just seen, that really sucked. I think the um, when I've done all the welding, the whole thing shrunk a little bit. Um, possibly the hole shrunk as well. It was mostly on the on the ones where I had to weld. Sort of easy fix. Run a tap back down through the hole. Now I'm just going to go through and fix that bolt that I broke. One broken bolt can add a lot of time to a project. We'll, we'll see what happens. So as we just saw, we had a uh, a bolt break. So that's. It's just great. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and grind this flat and then punch it and try and drill it and then I'll re-tap it and hopefully I'll be able to drill it reasonably square. Alright, so we've cut it square. Uh, I'll this back on here now and I'll put a pile of this gin. I suppose while we're at it, we should probably uh, punch this one, the one that I missed. So I turned these little bits on the lathe, so they've got a, an end that fits in the hole, and then the punch goes through, so it sort of centers where I'm hitting the punch. Sit that in there, drop that down, so you hold that nice and straight, give it a bit, same on this one. Um, then I made another one that's same as that thing, except this one fits the drill bit a bit tighter. It keeps me drilling straight um, until I've used all the drill bit that I can. Give it another sharpen. It's so lucky these hardened bolts. That was a bad sharpen. Mmm. Like I may have worked hard in that hole. I wouldn't recommend power tapping if you uh, haven't done much hand tapping before but you sort of need to know where that breaking point of the tap is. I've tapped a lot of holes but even I still get it wrong clearly. Always try to tap it on the number two setting, the speed one, because then um, you haven't got quite as much torque so you're yeah, less likely to break that bit. Trust me, it sucks when you break one of these in there because it's not like a bolt where you can hopefully drill through it. You need carbide to drill through that. Wrong hole. Keep it clean of chips, probably apply a bit of oil. that hole. It's a little bit tight at the end. I think these taps might be a bit short to cut a really nice thread on the bottom of the hole. 
Oh wow, that's the broken bulb fixed and the mist hole tapped. So I guess we'll chuck all the bolts back in and start looking at some sand and epoxy. Wait. Plasma cutting, that's pretty easy to get off. Just so that, you, you can. that old saying, anything's a hammer if you hit it hard enough. Screwdriver works well, tap it off. Gets it off quite nice. Good enough for us to um, weld, weld the pieces on the end here. Should be all we need, couple of taps. Don't want to have too much to grind off of here. I kind of want to be able to see the um, the epoxy on both sides. Just I don't know, it might give a cool look. Well, the other end ground. So. button on here for grind mode. Probably turn it back to welding mode. There's a little bit blinding. Probably put my glove back on too. Beautiful. It's really heavy. Need 500 mils, doesn't need 125 mils um, of hardness. Don't really want too much of a, um, a wet mix, really. I just want enough to cover it, so I'll just pour a bit out at a time. It's not too bad. Oh, look broken. I guess that's what you get for buying cheap, cheap shitty mixes. Oh well, we'll have to just persevere through this one and fix it after. 125 mils hardener. Quite a cold day today, so I'm pretty safe with um, drying times. Anyway, bring it back. 
This is really heavy now. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up, maybe leave a comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel.